During World War II, there was a battle on the home front, too. The tussle with ration books, tokens, and stamps. Supplies were short, and everything from shoes to gasoline was doled out. No stamps, no soap. Every cut of meat carried a certain point value, and many times stamps were more valuable than money. And rationing proved that the American people had vivid imaginations. The Office of Price Administration was swamped with fantastic tales from people who claimed they faced disaster without an extra allotment of this or that. Headaches were many. Housewives had a problem keeping track of stamps, and businessmen sought clerks and other help in vain. Pity the poor storekeeper when it came time to balance his ration stamp records. Most gasoline ration cards were A cards, which call for an allowance of three gallons a week. You couldn't go far, but if you did get rolling, you found empty highways. Yes, Virginia, there once was room on city streets. With most meat going to feed the biggest army in U.S. history, a series of meatless Tuesdays went into effect. Housewives were urged to save fats for the war effort. They got their reward in extra meat points, and they were also paid four cents a pound. And the housewife fought the tin can war, saving food cans for steel and tin salvage. The containers went from the home front to duty on the war front. Everyone was involved in World War II. Then, with victory, the lid was off. Gasoline flowed once more. It was, ho for the open road, fill her up, let's go to the beach, to the mountains. After we get rid of the ration book, America was back on wheels, and rationing was only a memory.